We've been negotiating in good faith with Democrat leaders in the House to extend relief payments. Uh, we're negotiating right now as we speak, and we'll see how that works out. But if Democrat leaders put partisan demands aside, we would reach an agreement very quickly. In the meantime, my administration is exploring executive actions to provide protections against eviction. Eviction's a big problem, very unfair to a lot of people. It wasn't their fault that this virus came from a faraway land, as well as additional relief to those who are unemployed as a result of the virus. Very importantly, I'm also looking at a term-limited suspension of the payroll tax, something that has great support from many, many sides, especially some of our top uh, economists and some people that we have great respect for. The Democrats are primarily interested in a $1 trillion bailout of the poorly run states. We have some states and cities. You know them all. We don't have to go through names, but they've been very poorly run over the years. And we can't go along with the bailout money. We're not going to go along with that, especially since it's not COVID-related.